It's a magnificent English oak. Quercus roba. This is the common oak, or English oak, or pedunculate oak. Three different common names for Quercus roba. Is it cup of tea time? There are two native species of oak in Britain. One is this one, the common oak, or English oak, or pedunculate oak, Quercus roba. And the other one is the sessile oak, Quercus petraea. And the difference between pedunculate oak, Quercus roba, and sessile oak is actually the stalk on the acorns, not nothing to do with the leaves. It's the stalk on the acorns. In pedunculate oak, there's a long stalk uh, on the acorn. Might find some here. Ah, oh, there's one. The sessile oak has acorns, which are sessile. No stalks. Is it cup of tea time? Previously, we saw in Iscalus hippocastaneum uh, a single large terminal bud. In Quercus roba, we have a cluster of buds uh, at the end of the twig. So a bunch, it's like a bunch of fives, a fist of, of brown buds. So quite a contrast. And that, that fist of buds, that cluster of buds, is very characteristic of oaks in general. There are other trees that have clusters of buds, for example cherries, Prunus species, um, have uh, clusters of buds, but those tend to be on short lateral shoots, whereas here the bud clusters are at the tip of the twigs. Um, and in the oak, in, in Quercus roba here, we have a cluster of chestnut brown buds, quite large buds. The buds here are about a centimetre or so long um, and they have many overlapping bud scales. In Quercus roba there may be um, up to about 20 overlapping bud scales. In the other native UK species of oak, Quercus petraea, uh, you'll find more than 20 overlapping bud scales. Is it cup of tea time? Most deciduous trees in Britain uh, have this alternate arrangement of, of leaves reflected in the leaf scars and the buds in winter. So whereas uh, we saw previously in Aeschylus hippocastaneum the uh, leaf scars and the buds were arranged in opposite pairs, in Quercus roba here they are arranged alternately up the twig. So let's go and look at the bark. The bark of Quercus roba is characteristic grey colour uh, and it has these vertical channels, fissures, uh, which are quite characteristic. A lot of people think, oh, grey fissured bark, surely all trees have got grey fissured bark, but no, they haven't. Ash, for example, very smooth bark, it's grey, but it's very smooth. Uh, the same, similar with, um, with beech. Actually, we have seen already the horse chestnut and that had the flaking um, bark, uh, a brownish, reddish brown colour as I remember, flaking, and that's I mean totally different to this this oak. So I think I think there is a there is a story to be told in the bark. Uh, you just need to look carefully um, each time you find you find a, a, a tree. So anyway, there we are. The bark of Quercus Roma. Is it cup of tea time? <laughs>